the T low shooting, just the, the, the way the ball's moving around the perimeter. Um, what have you seen get unlocked some on that end for the last couple of weeks? Uh, we're just playing together, sharing the basketball. Um, when you play the right way, good things tend to happen. And, uh, you know, we're not being selfish. We're not holding the ball too long. Guys are making the right plays. If you see a crowd, we're moving on. Um, and guys are being quick <clears throat> decision makers, either passing the shooting or driving it. So, um, you know, when we play free uh, and play together like we are, sharing the basketball, then uh, the assist numbers goes up and guys are able to, you know, shoot the ball with confidence and know that the ball will come to me if I'm if I'm open instead of uh, getting the ball and trying to force one because you haven't touched it in a while. Of course, it's challenging in the league to have both ends covered, and so if you're getting better on offense to not slip on defense, there's been a little slippage. Uh, how much is that is expected, and what do you have to kind of still focus on as a team to keep the defense at a level that you're comfortable with? Yeah, I mean, it's not expected at all. Uh, we can be a top offensive team and a top defensive team. Um, you know, I think uh goes back. I mean, you know, Cam is out. I'm not sure how long, but, you know, you miss another defensive guy. Um, but, you know, I think the thing that's been hurting is just the rebounding. <clears throat> uh, you know, I think they had 10 and a half. I'm not sure what they finished with, but uh, being able to rebound the basketball um, actually will help us a ton. Uh, guys are getting second chance points and they're kind of hurting the, the rating. So if we just able to uh, get those rebounds, um, you know, I think it'll help our defense a lot. That, that late push your team had toward the end of the first half, you, you, you built a pretty nice lead at halftime. How, how pivotal was that stretch? I think it was 10 nothing to end the half to, in the outcome. Uh, it was good. Um, Show the type of defense team we can be. Um, you know, we always try to finish quarters the right way, and uh, that was a good sign of, you know, the team that we're capable of on the defensive end. Um, you know, Vando with his steals and his his pestiness on the ball. Um, you know, Bron, uh, you know, talking on that back line. You know, myself, TP, uh, you know, D'Lo. You know, we're all locked in on the defensive end. And that's what kind of. Uh, Catapulted us on the offensive end. AD, this is the, the stat of Michael Smarching. 27 <coughs> assists in nine straight games. Um, is that uh, indicative of this team finding an offensive identity in any way because of consistency and the continuity that we talked about really all year that you guys were never really dead or dead? Well, we're just sharing the basketball. Um, if a guy's open, we're you know, finding them, and guys are confident enough to step up and, and make shots. Uh, it's really simple. You know, basketball is a simple game. You know, um, play the right way and good things happen. You guys are virtually in the same spot you were um, when you came back home at the start of January in terms of your, your record. Uh, just, I know, you know, you can't always go there, but how important is this six-game road trip in terms of, like, kind of making this season work? It's very important. Um, you know, we got games that, you know, we're probably supposed to win and games that people expect us to lose. But um, for us, you know, we're just taking one game at a time. You know, starting with Golden State, uh, obviously they had their struggles, but anytime you go up there, uh, you know, you always expect a dog fight. And, uh, you know, we'll focus on them and get ready for those guys and on Saturday. And um, after that game, then going on no, to the next and, and no. figure it out. <laughs> Throughout the month, Garvin's mentioned limbo, right? Just what no, impact, limbo, no. <laughs> what impact do you think the introduction of that has had on the team? Uh, either crash or get back. <laughs> uh, that's it, crash or get back. And, uh, you know, we can't be in between. Um, you know, either crash or gotta get a, try to get an extra possession or get back in. Um, you know, try to stop the ball and, and find shooters and stuff like that in transition. So uh, the biggest thing of, of, of that, just not being indecisive. And you guys won 6-4 uh, and four, uh, on this 10-game homestand. What, what do you feel like you learned about the group? I thought I did. Sorry. You made it worse, nigga. What do you feel like you learned about the group in this 10-game homestand? Um, we shown flashes of who we can be on both ends of the floor. Um, now it's just about, you know, putting it all together. Uh, more consistently, um, you know, up 22 or 24 or something like that, and kind of let the lead slip away with some threes and uh, things like that, some bad shots. So, um, but I think for the most part, uh, we've shown the type of team we can be on both ends of the floor.